Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video we'll be reviewing a Wi-Fi relay for iSpindle users. This product connects directly to the iSpindle for data and also works very well for signal amplification. This data is then shown on a TFT screen in various forms, as you will see. Seeing as this is a product review, here is my full disclosure declaration. Feel free to pause the video now to read this in full if you have not before. Let's move on and take a closer look at this product. This is a small screen device that has a temperature probe of its own and an input for USB power. See on screen for measurements in metric and imperial. I found it draws a very low amount of power and can be run for quite some time with just a power bank connected, but naturally you can also plug it into a mains power supply. This is not supplied with a USB cable or power brick, but I guess most of us have many of these laying around anyway. Here is what you will see when you plug this in without an eye spindle being present. As you will note it cycles through various different screens which is certainly a very nice touch. Also very much in its favour this device can be set up with various different services like Brewfather, Ubidots, Brewspy, Monitor Beer and Blink. So for example should you wish to take advantage of the Blink's temperature alarm service then this outside temperature probe is very much ideal. Or perhaps like many including myself the Brewfather support provides a gold card. There are some very nice options here for sure. The temperature probe supplied can be used to monitor ambient temperatures or be connected to your fermenter, preferably with something like plumber's putty for a second reading. As you will notice on the display it is referred to as temperature out, which is nice and generic. This is certainly a very well thought out addition and the cable supplied measures approximately 95 centimeters in length. So plenty to play with and I found that this satisfied my uses. During my testing of the device I found that it would actually last quite a long time just being powered by a power bank. This meant that during a fermentation it was very easy to place it somewhere that suited me rather than needing it to be near a power point. Especially handy in fermentation rooms where power points are in high demand. I also note that the range of the device is somewhat impressive and I have been able to pick up a signal in the room above my fermentation area. Not every part of the room allows a connection but it is still very very useful. This may or may not be possible for you though it really depends on the construction of your property and the level of interference you have within your rooms from other devices. The signal strength of the eye spindle Wi-Fi relay was tested by the designer by using an eye spindle in a 2mm thick steel barrel with a 6mm lid without a rubber seal with a stainless steel clamp system. This barrel was then placed in a household freezer and a good signal was still found. I tested the eye spindle and Wi-Fi relay with Keg Landscape Manta and found that there was no problem with signal here either, which for me is very pleasing, as previously to this I have been unable to obtain an eye spindle signal within this thick fermenter. Here is some close up footage of how this device looks when the device is connected during fermentation. You will note that the name of the eye spindle is shown at the bottom, so should you want more than one of these then you will still know which eye spindle each relates to. Setting up this device is nothing too taxing or time consuming and the company's website gives step by step instructions on how to do this as shown here. Naturally I will put a link to this website in the YouTube video's description. I have to say that I am very pleased with how this product works and have no reservations in recommending it to iSpindle owners. In terms of buying this, at this point this product cannot be found in homebrew stores, but it can be bought directly from the manufacturer's website for the price of €38 Euros, including worldwide shipping, which seems very reasonable to me considering the quality on offer and the design and programming behind this. As you will have noticed this is not the only product sold by the company and you will also find that from time to time these are also available from the manufacturer on eBay but with a higher price point because of the fees involved. Naturally if you are watching this video sometime after its release then this may have changed in terms of price so do keep this in mind. It should also be mentioned that when there is stock to sell then you will find it on the website. If you do not see an offer to buy then I suggest you make contact using the contact form on the website as shown now. This is easily found by using the contacts option highlighted on screen. By using this contact form you can then find out when this item is back in stock again or at least get an approximation. 
Do keep in mind that this is a small company who are experiencing high demand for this product and the others they sell, and that everything is assembled and set up by a human being rather than a robot. This YouTube channel has a Facebook group with over 7,500 members that is continuing to grow rapidly. See on screen for links to join our friendly and helpful community. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions, then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate, then please like this video on YouTube, and if you've not done so already, then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!